The world of beauty products can sometimes be confusing from what ingredients you should try to the newest trends that you should probably avoid. Joining us now is our go-to beauty expert on On Location Pro Stylist, Oscar J. Molinar. Oscar, thanks for joining me again on Live in the Bay. So good to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, so we're going to be doing something a we're little bit do, different. Right. So since the kiddos are going back to school, I decided to return to learn would be a kind of good little segment. Okay. And so we're going to um, ask you a couple of questions and you're going to uh, give me the answer, the correct answer, hopefully, Oof. if the viewers at home can send their telepathy, if they know the uh, <laughs> the right answer to you, um, you know, maybe you'll get it right. Okay. Well, that's that's great because um, I brought my trusty little uh, whiteboard here. Okay. And I'm ready to answer these questions. Okay. Everybody send me the good vibes, <laughs> please, through the TV. All right. Let's go. So, um... Let's see, the first question is, there are five skincare products that you should do, uh, put on your face to have beautiful skin. Uh, in what order should they be placed? I'm gonna name them and then you tell me what order. So the moisturizer, the toner, um, the serum, SPF, and face wash. Okay, here we go. I know this because I do this every day. <laughs> Name me the five one more time. So it's a uh, uh, moisturizer, SPF, uh, face wash, serum. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. And then I'm going to go. All right. So this is my final answer. Okay. So wash, tone, serum. Ah, uh, you forgot the moisturizer. SPF. Oh, uh, dang, you can't forget to moisturize. So moisturize and then SPF, always last. Okay, SPF, always last. So do I get that one right? That uh, counts as a we'll, point, right? We'll, get, we'll give it to you. Woo, one point, Olivia, <laughs> got it. That's pretty good. Okay. So the next question is, um, let's see, AHAs in skincare are used for A, clarifying, B, toning, or C, exfoliating. Ooh, okay. Can you maybe explain so the AHAs definition of AHAs? So AHAs are uh, uh, alpha hydroxy acids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's all I can give you. Okay, now one more time. What was so the question? So are they uh, used for clarifying, toning, or exfoliating? Oof. I'm going to take a guess on this one. Um, B. B, uh, let's see, so, no, Tony, no. They're Dang. actually They're actually used, alpha hydroxys are used for exfoliating, and it's a natural way to exfoliate. So, um, in your skincare, you wanna have a little bit of alpha hydroxys, and that'll um, naturally exfoliate your skin. Okay, so keep an eye out for everybody out there, keep an eye out for that as an ingredient. Yes, uh, alpha hydroxy, there's uh, several different types, and uh, they're usually uh, geared towards fruit, um, so you can use those to exfoliate. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, Oscar one. <laughs> <laughs> Live one. There we go. We're okay. one and one right now. Okay. And true or false, when referring to clean skincare, we are referring to products that are chemical free. True or false? True. <laughs> That's my answer. True. It's actually false. Oh, no. The reason why is because everything has chemicals in it. So even we have chemicals in ourselves. So, uh, you know, yeah. That's a trick question. It is a trick question. Okay, that is a trick question. <laughs> I see the way that this game is going, Oscar. Okay. okay. And number six, uh, let's see. Uh, all natural ingredients are good for you. <laughs> false. Just kidding. Actually, true. you were right the first time. <laughs> You were right the first time. Oh, it's actually right false because uh, there is um, uh, a gum that they take from a tree, which is natural, but it's also very bad for you. And they use it in uh, salad dressings and they use it in um, wallpaper, glue, and it's not good for you. It's been uh, caused uh, some respiratory issues. So not all natural things uh -huh. are good for you. So, But when it comes to skincare, comes you to want skincare. to lean more towards all natural products, Definitely, right? you want to lean more towards natural products and you want to make sure that those products are, are natural because, you know, like I said, anybody can uh, greenwash the okay. products. So. All right, well, I'm not doing too <laughs> hot here. Do you have any more questions for me or is that um, it? That's, that's about it. I could uh, give you one more. Okay, give me one more. Okay. I want one more to redeem myself. So this is the easiest, pro well, I don't know if it's easy, but I know it. So <laughs> um, what is the oldest uh, cosmetic company in the world? World. Oh goodness, and oldest the, cosmetic company in the world. And the oldest cosmetic company in the United States. There's two, so. There's two? Yeah. And they're not the same? No. Okay. And these are the only two that I can think of that have been around since I was a little girl, but <laughs> who knows? I'm going to so, say L'Oreal and well, Maybelline. Well, you know, good, good guess, but actually. In no specific order. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, um, 
Shiseido is uh, one of the oldest cosmetic companies in the world. Um, it was around in the 1800s, 1890s. Oh, wow. And they still have a product today that they still sell from that time, uh, which is very good. And then in the United States, Elizabeth Arden, actually with the Red Door, started in 1910. And so she's the oldest cosmetic company in the world. Wow. Okay. So it's very clear and obvious to me that I need to step up my skincare game. <laughs> you need to brush game. up on the skincare game. <laughs> which is why you are here. And That's Oscar, right. you're, you're a pro when it comes to skincare, beauty. What is one tip that you may have for us now that summer's ending and we're transitioning into fall one skincare maybe product or tip that you have well i guess the tip for me is to get the best price on cosmetics is always look at the retailer because i'll tell you what a little inside secret is that every month every week there's going to be something on sale and one retailer or another is going to have a free gift with purchase Mm. So you want to look at the retailers. Don't just, uh, you know, gear yourself towards going to one retailer to get your cosmetics. Look at all of them. Make friends with the, with the uh, you know, salespeople, and they'll call you up and tell you when uh, there's a free gift with purchase. But wait to buy your products when there's a free gift because you're going to get more products. Oh, that's a really good tip. Yeah, Thank you. So, that's a little secret. Though. Right. So, so don't be, you know, loyal to just one retailer. Go to all of them mm -hmm. and find out when they're actually in gift and that's when you get your product. And that's also smart too, that way you can try different products Definitely. and know what works with your skin, what doesn't. Definitely, because you never know until you try the product. And if you wanna know if a product is safe for you or if you're gonna have allergies, always try the product on the, on the forearm. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if nothing happens in 15 minutes, you're good to go. Okay, that's wonderful. So basically, skincare is different for every individual, so you have to treat it that way. You have to treat it that way. Mm -hmm. um, and one more th thing, if you're at the store and you want to try on lipstick, but you don't want to try on the lipstick, you know, on your lip, uh, because of everything that's going around, you want to try that lipstick, not here, because this is where a lot of women try it on, mm -hmm. but on the tip of your finger. If you try that at home, if you grab your lipstick and, and put it here and here, you're gonna compare them and they're gonna be two totally different colors. Wow, I didn't know so that. So that's why sometimes you take that lipstick home and you don't like it. So mm -hmm. always put the lipstick, test it on the tip of the finger and that's gonna be true to the color on the lip. As usual, Oscar, you are a beauty expert. Thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay again. Thank you for having me.